Welcome back to Loop Hero. We're going to jump right in. And we are going to attempt again, yet again, again, just, just again, to defeat this boss. Oh, we've got some new things. Storm Temple, the place of worship for the ancient god of lightning. His name is long forgotten. Strikes two random targets in its range with lightning every five seconds. Lightning cannot be evaded. Effects of multiple temples can stack. Temporal beacon. beacon. Its light is so bright that it makes you forget about the passing of time. It speeds up time by 50% within its range. It can spawn time watchers, which are afraid of vampires within its aura. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna remove the treasury and go with the storm temple. Um, do we want to swap in its mouse out? Mm, all of these can be placed on the pass. Everything else is not on the pass. Grove, yes. Swamp, yes. Yeah, they're all path. Rest or not. Do we want to get rid of that? And we'll try the temporal beacon as well. Alrighty. Let's jump in. Um, so, what have we got? We've got armor. We also have a nice extra chunk of HP. Let's go because last time we got the smithy, wasn't it? Smithy? It was... Was it the smiths? I don't remember. It gave us something besides the two extra things. Uh, let's get the meadow up here. So th those lines are the influence. Go with that. Throw the rock up. Throw the metal there. You know what? Let's get our vampire out. Get 
this. Uh, not yet, actually. Let's see if we can get an Oblivion card. It's so bright that it makes you forget about the passage of time speed speeds up time by 50% within its range. I don't know, where's a good spot? I guess there. But does that increase? Like, so. Well, the monsters generally spawn. saying monsters spawn five percent chance five percent chance of spawning a slime once a day okay so time speeds up while you're in there then your day happens quicker i guess so it's still five percent chance no no, no it didn't there's the crystal Cosmic Mage has a soul benefactor. Gives an ally 15 magic armor instead of attacking. Only once per creature. Flees if there are no targets for its ability. Uh, 
Uh, let's get that out there. <laughs> Tax speed, uh, regen. We do have we put two, and that is on the ring. Okay, we'll keep keep our regen. Magic attack speed counter. Two skeletons. It's this. HP drops below 30, your regeneration is doubled. Dominant mass damage is increased by 20% of defense and value. So, that'll be 4. That their current setup. I'm gonna go with. I should give it a shot and see what happens, but it seems like it's not the approach to take. Um, attack speed dropped, but we get damage and vampirism. Max HP down by 9. Let's keep up with that again. Beat field. Um, beacon. Uh, I think we'll put that there. Mountain. Cemetery. We've got a lot of mountains. Um, tell you what, that's... Oh, too late. Vampire's gone. Gonna put the vampire out of the village. Let's put beacon out. Okay, pause. Let us... Uh, have a go. So we get another crystal. Uh, road lantern. I'm gonna put that there. Uh, temporal beacon. Put that there. Um, uh, what else? What do we got? Cemetery, wheat field, oblivion. So we put more mountains out. Oblivion, the goblins that show up. Don't really want to do that. Um, yeah. 
shadow works, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, hinder as well, because it'll attack me as well, but hopefully it'll help us more than hinder us. Magic damage, damage to all over. Shield, defense 14, magic damage, damage to all, regen, take that, thank you. Cool, good, we're getting some stuff. Here, here, 
I don't know, do they stack? Stacks of multiple temples can stack. Yeah. I mean, we're really gearing up to get that going, right? Lies here leaves 10% of findings that come from passing through. I think that is definitely a good one to have. So we're always just putting something down. And if we do die, we'll at least we've put stuff down along the way, right? Temple beacon. Let's pause and get that out. understand this other than the time watchers I don't really get the speed up of time from that So heal 255. There's another vampire down. 
to get this one going would be good going into that fight. Uh, let's go there. 
And if that's we have another Oblivion card. Six HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. Second part, get three new traits. Does it spend the point? Skilled armor defense is increased by one after every loop. Blissful ignorance deals you a full hand of oblivion cards. As I mean, the oblivion cards are useful, definitely, but a full hand, do I want that? Cards heals hero by 10% max HP when used, I assume. Shieldmaster, 10% chance upon hit of stunning target for one second. Somersault, strong aftertaste. Let's take that 10%. Another village. I mean, I may as well just throw them out, right? Put them up on the board. And then this, this will bring in a use of. Um, oh, yeah, no, let's not do that just yet. Um, um, let's drop it. drop or 8.8 HP a second or 0.6 HP a second. Let's go. Don't hover. Alright, take him down right then. I'm not going to have that armor. 
when I fight the guy, am I? the other ring. Almost lost that. Actually, I don't think it's worth worth it. I think that it fall off. every like 
10% every time we go around, so it's not actually that bad. Um, damn, we don't have the Oblivion card. So I have to face these, and one needs a quest. Come on. Did that turn into a thing? Five seconds, lightning hits two random targets, dealing 28 plus defense by four. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage. Nice. 
I don't think we can do it. <laughs> Defense by one. Yeah. So we're not really getting anything from building multiple. And do we get anything from building multiple anyway? Hard question. Let's go with the refuge and unlock the road and then next time round. Or does it have to be over here? Even in exile, there is exile even in exile, hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who have found their salvation in wine and gambling. Sit down instead and pick yourself a poisoned drink. That's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place and its surroundings, they are familiar to me. Now we're talking. So did you make your living off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe? Or collecting bounties for someone's unlucky head? It's as if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have their knowledge and skills. And now I somehow literally have two aces up my sleeve. And I think I stole someone's purse too. Ah, wait, that's my coin purse. Purse. You don't believe me? Ah, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Mm, cool. So now we have the rogue, which loses the ring, the shield, we've got two blades, and we've got boots. Interesting. Uh, additional class stats change, and the description. Rogue can retrieve trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchange them for equipment in the camp as 5% vampirism from the start. 10% mm. bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Okay, cool. Uh, chapter... Excuse me. Um, so then the other difference we've got... Class stats... Regeneration, vampirism, attack speed, counter attack, evade. So now we've got evade, percent, crit chance, defense, crit damage. Starts with warrior's gear. Cool. So thank you very much for joining. I hope you've had fun. I really want to get through this chapter. <laughs> Not doing too well at it. But we'll see how the rogue goes and hopefully get somewhere with it. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining. Hope you had fun. Do the thing. Catch you next time. All the best. Bye bye. <laughs>